Hey guys, Mike here with everything about concrete. Now I want to know what's driving up the prices of concrete so much. Is it fuel? Is it labor shortages? Is it high demand, low supply? Or is it politics? So let's get right into it. Now just recently I published a video on my concrete prices for 2023 and, th and this video was about what I pay per yard for concrete from the concrete company. So I posted, I posted my, my brand new price sheet for January of 2023 and I got a lot of comments back, a lot of feedback from, from you out there who watched the video and a lot of it was what you're currently paying for concrete prices. But then a lot of it was your opinions on why the prices have gone up so much. As you can see down here, I got 821 comments in the first week. And I'll link that video at the end of this one so you could check it out and check out some of the comments. But So I wanted to follow up with that on, again, what you guys feel is the driving factor between all these prices going up. I know for me, and in my business right here, you know, where I have to buy concrete, I got to buy styrofoam and wire mesh you know, and things like that. The material prices for me have gone way up. The jump in concrete prices this year was basically equivalent to about five years of price increases. So, I mean, usually concrete goes up about three bucks, three bucks a year. And it, it went up about 15 bucks this year from 2022 to 2023. So that's a huge bump. Uh, things like wire mesh, uh, rebar that's doubled styrofoam prices when we you know we gotta lay two inch styrofoam under a lot of our slabs and stuff that I was paying in the mid 30s for it and it went up to as high as in the 60s per sheet a four by eight sheet so it's come back down a little bit but that's pretty much almost doubled so I mean does politics play a big part in this I think so I think greed uh, just just rising interest rates um, just let me know your opinion on that, but I don't, you know, I don't like to stress out too much over politics. I got enough things to worry about, but when prices increase this much in one year, you know, it's, it's cause for concern, really. I've been in about, I've been doing this long enough over 40 years. I've seen about four pretty decent recessions and we've always come through them, but I've never seen price jumps as high as this one this year and I don't I don't I'm not saying we're quite in a recession yet but well I think we might be headed that way so another big thing that as as cause you know prices to go up as far as I'm concerned is labor shortages I mean we just can't find we can't find anybody to work I mean I'm 57 Darren's 47 Luke's about 42 and we just can't find any young people that want to come work for us. I don't know. It just it's not like it was. I mean, when we when I started out back in the 80s working for I was working for a commercial concrete company, had about 10, 12 guys. We were all young. It, we was all in our 20s basically back then. There was there was not many people that were older. And now it's difficult. I mean, I've got my daughter to be able to work for me She was while she was in college, but after she got out of college, you know, she got her own job based on what she went to college for. But I'm not getting, you know, even if when we ask around, I'm not getting <laughs> very many people interested, young people interested in coming and doing what we do. And even though we, we can pay a really good wage doing this, but just the interest isn't there. I don't know how you guys feel about that. And uh, talking about wages, I mean, wages have gone way up too, just just in the last year or two, for find just trying to find good help and keep it. So you've got to pay, you know, upwards of like 50% more in wages sometimes to keep good help, versus versus you know years past. And then another thing that's affected a lot of people is the cement shortages. You know, here in Maine, we have a company pretty local that actually manufactures the cement. And then you know they deliver it right to the local concrete companies. So this 2022, we haven't experienced any cement shortages. But I know I've heard from a lot of guys that they were restricted on how much concrete they could buy per week, and you know how much they could pour in a day and stuff like that. And I mean that's going to be crazy for someone like me who pours concrete every single day and 
you know, from one day to the next, it's different every day. I might need two loads one day. I might need six loads the next day, back down to two the next day. It's That would be crazy to have to deal with, uh, you know, being limited to how much concrete I could pour each day. I just, I don't know how my business would operate, to be honest with you. And then we talked about it, about rising supply prices um, and material costs. Like for a, a sheet of wire mesh, you know, we have to buy a lot of wire mesh, a five foot by 10 foot sheet of light gauge wire mesh. I was paying about seven bucks a sheet just maybe a year and a half ago. And that more than doubled, that went up to about 20 bucks just for a sheet, you know, in the low 20s. And then it settled back down into the very high teens. And I don't think that's going back down to where it was. I think that's what we're going to end up just continuing to pay for that. You know, and I don't know if it's just because uh, it's a, if it's a raw material shortage of that stuff or if just manufacturing that stuff, if they're having a hard time themselves with manufacturing. And obviously, you know, g gas prices, diesel prices are a big, big deal. I think that's very political too, you know, about the gas and diesel. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. You know, just gas itself. I don't think diesel prices have to be, you know, we in Maine, they're in the mid fives, 550, 560. They got up over six bucks a gallon for diesel. And as you know, I mean, shipping around the country here in the U.S. is a big, big deal with, with semi trucks that could get two or three or four miles a gallon. And all of them use diesel. So why are we paying so much for diesel gas? I mean, why is diesel even so much more than regular gasoline right now? Um, that's a big, big question I have. I think if just if we could get diesel prices back down to to some place, maybe half of what they are now, that would definitely help out where we're headed. I think for 2023 and 2024, and then interest rates rising too. I mean, I know a lot of. A lot of new houses have been put on hold. People just can't afford the higher interest rates for mortgages. Um, a lot of new houses have been canceled. I think we're going to see a bunch of foreclosures coming up. And, you know, I've been through this before. So years, years pass, and it hasn't been good. But we've always come out of it. It's just a matter of how long does it take to come out of it. You know, and I, I don't know. But those are those are just a few of my reasons why... You know, these prices have gone up so much. Well, I mean, you guys, I mean, I do basically, you can see what I do on, on the video here. Smaller residential stuff, all kinds of different types of flat work from garage slabs to house floors um, to stamp concrete to patios, walkways, pool decks, things like that. And we get, we get tons and tons of calls. We get more work than we can handle, probably because we've been doing it for so long and we're very well known here in Maine. Even though there is, there is a lot of competition, uh, I think just because, you know, having done this for so long and people know when they can call you and, and trust you and you show up on time, you show up when you tell them, you answer the phone, things like that is what, it, you know, gets you a lot of work, even in the slower times. But... Are people going to be doing things like this? Like this is a big colored slab that's going to be stamped, you know, and it's probably, it's more than twice the money, more than twice the cost of what just a regular slab would be. So where is this type of work headed coming down the road for 2023? You know, I don't think, I don't think people are going to spend 25000 on just, let's just say, I can't remember what I charged for this, but let's just say it was 25000 to get a slab done like this when they can pay you know, half that, 10 or 12,000 to just get it done with a smooth power trial finish and build on it that way instead of having something, you know, really unique. But, and even even adding the color in there. And again, here's another person here who's doing a, a walkway and we're gonna stamp it. We ended up stamping this to look like ash or slate. We put color in it, which more than doubled the cost of just a simple little walkway like this. Are jobs like this gonna continue into 2023 and I'm gonna say more than likely not as much I mean we'll still do a few of them and we get calls to do a ton of them but I don't think we're gonna see anywhere near the demand for the the higher end type of concrete jobs the decorative stuff coming up in 2023 at least but 
And then another thing, you know, these a lot of guys in this state, they put in pools too because, you know, we got three months here of really warm weather and people don't want to travel to a lake or they don't want to drive to the ocean. They want to stay home in a pool like this with a concrete deck around it and then the fence and all the trimmings and everything is, is easily $50,000 right here. You're staring at about a $50,000 bill for a pool like that. So, I mean, where is that type of stuff going? Here's a big house slab we're doing with, again, the two inch styrofoam, the radiant heat. Um, here, here I am sawing, big uh, $2,500 saw so I can cut my green concrete. So concrete prices and the types of stuff you do versus um, types of stuff we do. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Let's let's uh, leave some comments down there, and we can debate over who who we think is right, who we think is wrong, who we think is responsible. But at the end of the day, you know, we just gotta we just gotta keep plugging away. We gotta get through this, and I think everybody will. You know, we can help each other out as far as as far as labor shortages go. You know, we hire we hire guys that are friends of ours that do the same thing we do to come in for a day or you know even a morning on a pour. So we'll kind of we'll kind of network like that and get some extra help when we need it if we can't actually find people to put on the payroll. But uh, let me know down in the comments, guys. Appreciate you watching. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.